Welcome. This lecture will cover types of heat treatment and various inspection carried out on pipe fitting once the manufacturing is over. These are the almost same requirement which we have discussed in pipe manufacturing. I will give you the overview of this requirement and explain only additional requirement. If fittings are manufactured by hot finish method, heat treatment is not required. However, for the cold finish fitting, heat treatment is required as per applicable ASTM material standard. Common heat treatment that perform on fitting is normalizing, quenching, tempering, solution annealing, stress relieving, and any of the combination. Hydrotase is not required unless specifically requested by purchaser. Code mandate that fitting shall be able to withstand under pressure required by applicable piping code. Our most purchaser mandate that hydrotested pipe shall be used to manufacture the pipe fitting. Based on the type of the fitting, non-destructive testing are performed on the finished fitting. This non-destructive testing ensures the soundness of the product. Ultrasonic testing, radiography, magnetic particle, liquid penetrant and positive material identification are performed on the finished product. Radiography is done only on the weld seam. Destructive testing are performed to check the strength of the body and weld of the product. Proof test is also known as type test or bus test. Manufacturer use this test to qualify the fitting design. Fitting are welded with pipe and pressurized up to the bus pressure calculated by design or till the fitting bust. This is a one-time test to qualify the fitting design. Other destructive tests are tensile test, impact or charpy v-notch test and hardness test. Metallurgical tests are performed on the fitting body and weld to confirm the standard requirement. Microanalysis or chemical analysis of raw material, product and weld are carried out to confirm the standard requirements. Macroanalysis of weld is carried out to ensure that the proper fusion of weld material with parent material. Special tests are also carried out on fitting to confirm its ability to withstand under a corrosive environment. These tests are IGC, ferrite, HIC and SSC. Grain size is also checked for alloy steel and stainless steel fitting to check effectiveness of the heat treatment and to check the microstructure of the fitting. Grain size is also checked for alloy steel and stainless steel fittings. A proper grain size will confirm the effectiveness of heat treatment and confirm the microstructure requirement of the material. Visual inspection are conducted on fitting to check any surface imperfection. Both fittings body and weld are checked for any visual defects such as dent, die marks, porosity, undercut, etc. Acceptance of these defects are as per applicable material standard. Dimension of the fitting must meet the standard requirement. For rock product, dimensions are covered in ASME B16.9 and B16.28. B16.9 covers the factory-made rock butt-welded fittings for size half inch to 48 inch, and B16.28 covers the short radius elbow and returns for the size of half inch to 24 inch. For forge fitting, dimensions are covered in ASME B16.11. During dimension inspection, diameter, length, thickness or schedule number, straightness and perpendicularity of the fittings and degree of the elbow and bands and the concentricity of the reducer to be confirmed with the standard requirements. Once the fittings are clear all the inspection, it should be marked as per the standard requirement. Standard mandate that each fitting shall be marked with manufactured logo, ASTM material code, material grade, size, thickness, heat number and the compliance for the standard fitting such as WP and S58 for the special fittings. In case of T and reducer, the size and thickness of the both end and run pipe shall be marked. Marking can be done by painting or by hard punching. For stainless steel, stenciling can be used. For carbon steel, no hard punching below 6 mm and for stainless steel, no hard punching below 12 mm. Let's summarize what you have learned in this lecture. In this lecture, we cover the various heat treatment requirement, chemical and mechanical testing requirement, hydro testing requirement, visual and dimensional inspection and marking of the pipe fitting. See you in the next lecture.